Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Tyler Stuff from 200 Hero Sting News, and this is System Test Believe 25. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, anyhow, uh, let's get on with the video. So, as you can see, the panel is not in the most presentable condition. I did uh, retrofit the, uh, um, what's the name, dress panel. I'm actually going to be spray painting it. Unfortunately, it, the dress panel is kind of broken right now. Anyhow, but uh, I have a system trouble, and it's kind of screwed up. As you can see right here, if the lights will focus, as you can see, I, almost all the indicators are lit up on the I.O. controller, and usually that's just reeking I.O. control failure all over it. Um, trust me, I've designed this. I'm pretty sure I know when it's getting fucked up. Uh, not too long ago, there was a power search that actually blew out a couple of Christmas tree lights, uh, because I have a bunch of strands in my room, it actually blew out a little bit of the strands in my room. I believe it was a couple months, I think it was a month before Thanksgiving, and I was, obviously didn't have time to fix it. I started poking around the I.O. controller, that's why it's opened up right now. But, uh, as you can see, it is in a system trouble, and it's kind of weird is that it says the system's normal, meanwhile the power LED's not on, uh, it's got a system alarm, and it's also saying that it's in a, and it's silenced, but the, what's the name, LED's not lit up, the, um, you can't really see it too well, but the, um, the trouble LED's not lit up, so, it's definitely not in good condition, this is a, uh, failure, so I'm gonna have to go out to Radio Shack when I get some money, I do have money, but I'm not gonna be putting this into it yet, I've got other things that needs to be done. Before this goes, this is not my main priority. This does work currently, but the controller itself is failing. Um, I have, yeah, I'm surprised the power supply didn't blow, but what did happen was uh, this uh, GFCI actually blew, and the panel went, well, I had a battery in it at the time. It went into a uh, system trouble for not having a battery. Uh, I was lucky the battery did not overvolt and leak acid, although it did fry the relay, right here too. I did replace that not very neatly. It is very crappy. This is the power relay that uh, when the power goes out it swaps over to these right here. These are where you connect a 12 volt battery commonly like a panel battery or something and it'll actually flip over. As you can see right here I didn't really take the time to wire it correctly but whatever. Just in a rush. Anyhow that was pretty much explanatory. Self-explanatory. I've got a lot of stuff going on in the basement, so please do excuse the mess. Um, working on some stuff. That's my server set up right there. I've got um interesting things. Oh, I'm kind of getting off topic, but see, this is my uh, what's the name machine? This is my um, this is my uh host machine. This tells me everything that's going on in the network. My hub stack, data rack setup. Uh, anyhow, multimedia lab. Nothing really too particular going on. Let's get back on topic. I have a very interesting setup. I have these ADT sounders. As surprising as I have, I used to put these up all the time in the system, but I don't think I made a video of these things. They are extremely, and hear me out, these are extremely loud. Beyond belief. These are probably the loudest alarms I have. I have two of these, by the way. One is upstairs, one is downstairs. Uh, also, I did mount the my EST Integrity strobes uh, next to the uh, sounders, as you can kind of tell. Um, as surprising as it is, I do have the lights hooked up. Those probably don't need to be hooked up. But yeah, before I say anything else, um, I'm using my Surface 2, which is all screwed up now. It's got a very bad cracked screen and it barely even works, but... Uh, um, this microphone does not record the best audio quality, although the video camera does record pretty nicely. The uh, audio quality of this video is going to be horrendous because of how loud the alarms are. These are still the same, and the heat detectors are still the same, although I am starting to uh, do some work to the system. Although the network, the, uh, the network is one of my main priorities right now. I've started to wire in some new cables and stuff throughout the house because I used to have... Um, it's a long story, but these are these are all cable systems that went around the house at one time for the downstairs and upstairs section, which need to be redone because of the uh, the Charter Communications update, where they replaced all the analog shit with digital shit, which honestly I was not a big fan of. 
And oh yeah, oh, it's computer galore in here. There's nothing but like busted up computers and shit. It's pretty bad. These are all machines that I need to fix. Um, but yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna regret it. But hold on, just let me check the time real quick. Holy crap, I'm stalling because this is really loud. <sighs> Wake up. Oh, seriously? Hold on. Okay, what time is it? Yeah, I've got a little bit of time. My grandma's coming home soon. I don't want her to start nagging at me. What the fuck is it doing? Ugh, anyhow. Hey, let's just go ahead and pull it. I believe the panel might be silenced. I'm not sure. I was testing it, so we'll just find out for ourselves. If I'm correct, I did wire everything back up. I hope I did. Anyhow, are you ready for one of the loudest systems I have ever set up? And this is officially the loudest. Can't get any louder than that. Here we go. Oh my god, that's sweating my eardrum. Oh my god, look at that moon. That's beautiful. Holy jeez, that's shredding my eardrums! Oh. Oh. Oh, um, I just remembered, um, just so I can get out of here to talk for a little bit, whoa, um, this is hooked up, but there is a short on my panel, or not on the panel, there's actually a short on Mac 2 running out to the garage, so these are currently not working, I have to fix that, that's part of the I.O. control, I had to wire everything on Mac 1, so, uh, these are obviously not working, I have to fix the knack. Uh, anyhow, I just remembered I turned DSSync safe, safety sync code off because um, the alarms I have, I had the upstairs over here with the integrity strobe is wired into the NAC2, I mean NAC1 because NAC2 is kind of screwed up as of the moment. That's just not my fault. So anyhow, I'm going to go back in here. It's going to be really loud. Words cannot describe how much this is like shredding my eardrums inside now. Look very closely. shredding holy crap god I haven't worked with this system in a long time so I am not used to that oh my god oh okay well that was probably the world's loudest system for you I have no idea I think these things are like 110 decibels at like 10 feet or no they're like 150 decibels at 10 feet they're ADD burglary alarms, so they have to be loud. Also, this strobe stopped working. I have no idea why. That once I think it might be. Hold on. It should still work. You see? Oh shit! I meant to uh, jump start it, and I accidentally put the panel in short out protection. Whoops. Well, um, that's definitely not good. Just, uh, showing you that my panel, well, I guess you can see my panel does have short up protection. I tried to, uh, quickly disconnect the wire and I accidentally touched the two with each other and it put the panel in short up protection. So I just need to reset this. Oh, wait, no. Um, sorry, short up protection requires about, um, I think it's like a minute to self reset the panel. 
because it's in shard protection. And yeah, while I'm waiting for that to the power supply to drain out, um, I'll show you a little bit of what I've been working on around here. Um, I'm going to be starting up Geek Power again, so this is probably going to be what's... I need to clean it up, but this is my... Um, just to give you a little bit of tour around here, this is my main computer uh, workbench. As you can see, I have a, del a, a compact version. I used to have a shit ton of these machines, but they were the tower versions. And anyway, this is a small form factor version of the GX270. Uh, it is not a very good machine, although I am running Lucid Linux, which is... Uh, I don't know what's going on with the screen. It's like Xeon Blue. No idea. I've got my hub stack, which is not... Everything's not hooked up to it. I still have to run a bunch of wires from this over to the multimedia lab. A uh, bunch of hard drives laying around. Oh, batteries running low. Uh, NVIDIA Quadro. World's worst video editing card. Well, obviously I've seen worse, but still, that thing sucks for today's standards. Uh, speaker... That does work. It actually sounds amazing. It's a dual coil, like thousand watt speaker. Uh, by the way, if you are wondering, we did get quite a bit of snow. God, look at that moon! It's beautiful. Was it like a harvest moon? That fucking shit's awesome. And it's starting to get dark. I'm gonna turn on my light out here. You can see, like, straight up compared against the bike, we got at least, like, four feet of snow. Ah, fun. And we're supposed to have, like, another foot again this Monday. Alright, so that should be enough to reset the panel. I'm going to reset it. It's probably going to go back into alarm, so. Oh, jeez. Ah, this is some trouble. Alright, that was the strobe. Now the strobe's working. I had no idea what happened there, but it's working now. Um, I did, I, what I did to temporarily replace NAC2 is I actually ran a, through the auxiliary relay. This is actually an old technique. A lot of people do this with firelight panels, even though it's against fire code. Um, I actually ran through the auxiliary, auxiliary relay right over here. I ran the wire, which goes up to the junction box, um, into the auxiliary power, which is over here. And that's what's doing audible silence. Um, I do not have any sync synchronization cards in here. I don't have the, um, the, um, what's the name? Two wire, the, um, selective silence card in here. It's just simple, simple stuff. And let's reset this. This is, the blinking is annoying me. You know, I honestly have no idea. This strobe is not even near as bright as the one upstairs. This one's legit, like, pathetic and wimpy. So you can see, like, I think this one's actually biting the dust. Like, it's very, it's very near there. See? It's not even bright. It's not even like a 50, if you look straight into it, it's more like a 5 Kindle, if anything. Like, this is, the strobe is just not good anymore. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention those are still hooked up. Surprising as it is. I think that's it. I'm not really willing to test anything else, to be honest with you. Well done. Alright. Why is the stupid fan it never spins right? There we go. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm low on battery and I'm not really going to go past anything. And I'm not willing to record like a whole system test. Um, the estimate fixed time on the panel probably won't be until, like, a, a year, honestly. Like, I, I'm too busy with stuff to worry about this thing right now. If it dies, so well it dies. I have, I don't even know, as of this moment, I've got all those panels down there. I've made, I've got, like, an Endemco, um, freaking uh, surge protector, and I've got, like, a couple of pro panels. I've got another pro panel, and... Another pro. Oh, by the way, fuck, I forgot. Um, I still have to do a mini system test. I totally forgot about that. You know, I'm probably too lazy to edit this video, so I'm not really going to edit. But, um, I just remembered. Expect mini system test, I think it's three. I have to do. I haven't done one. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace. Yeah, my video's not stopping. Okay, this is exactly why I hate the surface. Okay, here we go. Peace.